Right, so here we have a lockdown phase East fitness that, believe it or not, by popular request. So we have the Sheltons all the way over in Dubai who have asked for this. T and Nick in Notting Hill, Ashley in Fulham, Lucy in Brixton, Ellie all the way over in East London. And actually for the next edition of this, Bradley is going to sing live for it. So we've got something really to look forward to. Crystal all the way over in Bristol and Kate somewhere up in the middle of England. So yeah, re really happy that we've had so many requests for this. And this is going to be a short ab blast. And this is something that you can do every day during lockdown. It's only going to take 10, 15 minutes. It's going to work your core, your abs, your bum, your glutes, which is really the most important muscle if you want to be running, swimming, cycling. So glutes and then a little bit of arm work. Um, we're obviously all locked down. We've been inside now for four weeks. Um, so this is an exercise that obviously you can do at home with no equipment. If you don't have a yoga mat, you can use a towel. Um, I'm just using some Tim's for dumbbells. You could use a bottle of wine, water or nothing. Um, it's up to you. So we're gonna start with some ab movements, then we're gonna do the glutes, and then we're gonna do the arms. Right, let's get going. So the first ab movement, which maybe I should face this way, we're going to just do 50 seconds of this. So you're going to lie on the ground. I'll count you down. Um, body out flat. That's just to get the abs warmed up. And we're just going to go up like this. Just doing crunches. So get, I think maybe I should switch the other way. Anyway, you guys get down and, and start. Um, and I'll count you in. So we're just doing this. So shoulders should come off the ground. Lower back should stay in, pushed into the into the floor though. I actually don't have a timer, so I'm just gonna guess the timings. But we're gonna do roughly 50 seconds of each exercise. That's it, this is gonna be a great workout for your Easter weekend in lockdown. I hope you guys are all doing okay. We're doing all right, we're getting a little bit fed up of being cooped up but you know the silver lining is that if you do this exercise every day for the rest of lockdown you're gonna have six pack by the end and who doesn't want a six pack okay we're gonna do 10 more seconds Okay, so your abs should be starting to feel a little bit warmer. Now we're going to basically keep your legs as, as straight as you can, but if you need to have a little knee bend, that's fine. And we're going to swing them up and then just do a push up. Now I ha I'm not playing any music, but obviously you can play music along beside this. And yeah, as I said next time, once we've worked out once I've worked out how to do it, Bradley's gonna sing. So you can send some requests of tracks that you like. If this hurts your lower back, you can put your hands here, but really do a slow movement and a push up like this. of this. I'm doing this from the basement, it's absolutely bloody boiling. So I'm starting to sweat already. Okay, now straight into the next one. Feet in, in tabletop. And we're just going to do bicycle crunches. But I want your hands to be on your foreheads and just slowly opposite knee to opposite elbow. Or opposite elbow to opposite knee, should I say. Very slowly, hold it in that position and do two pulses. Back down. Hold it in that position and two pulses. Okay, keep going. Now I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see in terms of correct technique for this, your knees shouldn't be coming this way. So you want your knees to be like this to make it harder. Push your lower back into the ground and you're just going slowly, two two pulses. And really with all of these abs, the slower you can do them, 
the better. So you don't want to race through those bicycle crunches. Okay, keep going, you're halfway there. And with your extended leg, you can point that out. Try to keep your shoulders off the ground at all times. Okay, you've got 10 more seconds of that. Okay, now roll up into a seated position. Okay, so now for this one, you need to do what's called a C-curve in your back. So if I can go sideways to show you it, you want to roll back and be in a C, like this. So that's the, the key positioning. So back's not straight, roll back into a C. Obviously, if you want to make this exercise a little bit harder, you can lift your feet off the ground. But we're going to pick up our makeshift dumbbells. Again, don't worry if you don't have any. Pick up your bottle of wine, your bottle of gin, your bottle of whiskey, whatever it is. And we're going to hold in this position and we're going to work the right ab to begin. So this is to work arms and ab and we're just going to go to the side. So with the weight up in your arm, pull back with this with your right arm, push forward with your left arm and twist. So this is working your triceps a little bit as well. Oh, Tommy's just coming back from his daily walk. Okay, he needs the door being opened. So you guys just keep going, twisting to the right, pulling back with your tricep. And you should feel that in, in the right obliques. Okay, keep going guys, that's great. Sorry, just had to let Tommy went out for his, his daily dose of fresh air and vitamin D. It is a glorious day. You obviously can't see in here because we're in a basement. Tommy now needs to disinfect. You need to go wash your hands and disinfect. He's, he's getting used to the washing hands and disinfect routine. So keep going. Again, if you want to make it harder, lift your feet up. Okay, now... Without putting your feet down, we're going to arms the other way to work slightly different muscles in the arms. So the last was for the triceps, this one is more for the biceps. I think I made you do a bit long on the other one because obviously Tommy arrived at the door. So 10 more seconds. Okay, 10 seconds rest. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. Don't forget to keep your keep your body in that C position. So again, as I said, you wanna just be rolled back like this, not upright. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the other side. You can see that my core is actually shaking. If you're doing this properly, you should be really hurting in your core. And again, you don't wanna use the, the weights to thrust the movement to the side. You're turning with your core and then just small movements with the weights. Okay, now switch over the other way. Ten more seconds. Okay, ten seconds rest. Then we're gonna do the last one for rotation. Then I guess we should really do a couple of side planks um, and then we'll go straight into the glutes and the arms and then we're done okay so this is the last one pick up your dumbbells again push your dumbbells together bottle of wine out whatever it is and just slowly twist back to the middle stretch out we're just going to do 10 of these because I don't have a timer and I've kind of lost track of time. I mean, I've also lost track of counting. I think we've done four. And when you turn, really tur turn and twist and feel that in your obliques. Again, maintaining that C position. Oh, I forgot to push out there. Okay, two more.
Okay, you can take some water now if you like. Here I've got my glass of water with some lemon in, because obviously this is really important to keep our immune system strong. I've been having lemon every day since the lockdown begun and I think that's why I have not been ill. Plus I'm also keeping very stringent disinfecting routine. I'm barely leaving the house. Okay, next exercise we're gonna do a side plank, so on your left side, left arm down, your feet can either be on top of each other, split like this, or if it's too hard you can keep your left leg down. We're going to go up into plank and then we're going to just rotate for five, needle of the thread I think they call it, no, thread of the needle, okay, off we go. Now in this position what's really important is push your hips up as high as they can to the sky well, more like to the ceiling. So hold in that position, really push them up. And now we're gonna do five. So follow, your eyes should follow your hands. So we're gonna go all the way through, look through, come all the way back out. Five of those, and really slowly. We're definitely more than halfway through this class. And I hope you're enjoying this class. As I said, you can sign up to the next ones with the live music. Now flip onto the other side. And straight up. Really push those hips up to the ceiling. Try and keep your body open and flat, so you shouldn't be twisted either way. And now five of these. Wobblers, because my core is not strong enough at the moment. Okay. Right, now we're gonna do our last pure ab exercise. We're just, well this is, we're going to work the arms as well, so we're going to do three of these because this is quite tough, obviously you can do more. I've hurt my wrist, so I'm going to go on knuckles, but you can go on your wrists, turn them out if they're sore. So we're just going to go up into plank position. We're going to do right leg to left elbow, left leg to right elbow, and then one press up. After that, we're going to go up into a pike, straight back down into a plank. Okay, right. Now we're going to go on to the glutes a bit more, so I think it's probably best to show you this one sideways. So you want to be in this position. Right leg, left leg back, right leg forward. And we're going to tuck in, push out, hold it there. And then this time when we tuck in, we're going to go up. Actually, you can put both your hands down on the ground for this one. So we're going to be pushing up like this. Trying to keep that right leg as still as possible. So just keep going with that one. I'll show you from this angle. Keeping this right leg as still as possible. And just keep pushing up. Okay, now we're going to do 10 pulses. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Then we're going to switch to the other side. Oh, wrong arm. So right leg back, left arm forward. Slowly pull in. Slowly push out. 
left arm down to stabilize you and then kick backs and you should be really using your glutes for this we're isolating each glute and then 10 pulses okay now left knee down we're going to put the right leg out straight as a whatever angle that is in this position hopefully you can see me you're going to keep this anchored straight you're going to put your arms up above the air and you're going to tilt to the side and pull yourself up tilt to the side and pull yourself up now keep your arm, keep your hips thrusted forward for this one you should feel this in your glute and your side of the so this is a great mermaid thing i think it's called so go over as far as you can and then slowly pull yourself up keep doing those and as i said you should be feeling it here and in your glutes and now we're going to bring our arms down we're going to tilt over and we're going to push out for three one two three if you're not feeling that you need to thrust your hips forward a bit more now change legs arms up in the air tilt over as far as you can and pull yourself up and you're really using those side obliques to pull yourself up wow it is a nice day outside i hope you guys have been able to get outside today for your daily dose of exercise and hopefully you've been using that properly i know you're all very responsible so there's no way you'd be abusing that like 99 percent of people in london okay now hands together tilt over and three pulses Okay, right, now we're on to the final couple of minutes. This is just for our arms. So we're gonna pick up our dumbbells again. And you're gonna go up on your knees, just trying to think actually what exercise to do. Tilt your body forward and tricep kickbacks. So we're just gonna do 20 of those. So try and keep your head relaxed, elbows high, and that's really moving the triceps. So I'll do it from this angle. You're hinged forward. So that's really helping with that wobbly bit of the arm that everyone hates. Again, elbows as high as possible. Five more of those. And then we're actually onto the last exercise. Okay, last exercise, we're gonna have the dumbbells up and we're just gonna squeeze in and push up. Squeeze in and push up. Squeeze in and push up. Great, 10 of those and then you're done. And obviously you need to do a bit of stretching after that. So you can you know, stretch out your hips, stretch out your glutes, stretch off everything. I, I mean, if you want me to do a stretching video, I can do, just let me know. Um, and yeah, I hope you like the workout. Try and do that every single day. I don't know how long that took, I wasn't timing it. But if you do that every day for the rest of the lockdown, your abs and your core will definitely be getting tighter. Alright guys, bye bye!